What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and we got some break up, break up, break it news. Kevin Lee has found an opponent, and his name is D Rod. Dan Rodriguez. Really, really great fight. I love this fight. I love this fight just as you know, just as much as I love the Sean Brady fight um, with Kevin Lee, and I, and I think this is a really, really good test for Kevin in the welterweight division. I think you know D Rod is he's you know. Obviously, he had that slip up against Dolby, right? Dolby kind of sunned him. <laughs> I know this is gonna piss y'all up, but <laughs> Dolby kind of sunned him. And <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> oh, I know y'all gonna be mad, mad because I said that. But um, yeah, man. Uh, obviously, it's in the August, uh, August twenty nine, uh, fight night card. So that's gonna be really good. Uh, I think that's Giga versus Edson. Uh, so that's dope. Um, this is a really good fight for Kevin, man. This is going to show us where Kevin's at. If he's a legit top 15 welterweight or is he just, you know, a lightweight pretending to be a welterweight. Um, D-Rod's a big guy. He has really good length. He has decent boxing. D really good. I, I feel like his jiu-jitsu is really underrated. You know, one of, I I've never seen Tim Means submitted the way he submitted Tim Means. Like, I it's been a minute since I've seen Tim Means submitted like that. And that was really, really impressive. Um, D-Rod is a legit guy. And, um, I mean, he doesn't lose a lot, too, man. He does not lose a lot. So, good thing for D-Rod. This is probably the biggest name opponent he's ever going to fight. Kevin Lee's a former top five uh, lightweight. Um, you know, he's a le legit, legit guy. Um, and we're going to see. We're going to see what Kevin got. You know, in terms of how I see them matching up, I mean, I still think probably Kevin has longer arms. And it doesn't really matter. Kevin doesn't know how to use his reach properly, so it really doesn't matter. Even if Kevin, you know, had the shorter arms, um, but yeah, you know, Kevin, the wrestling right is going to be a big factor in this. And this is a three rounder. Kevin doesn't lose three rounders, man. He, if you go look at it, I, I'm trying to think of a three rounder Kevin loss. I don't think I've ever seen Kevin lose it. Besides, I guess Leonardo Santos knocked him out, but he doesn't lose three rounders, man. He can keep. He can keep a hard pace for 15 minutes. So um, we haven't seen a lot of Kevin. We saw him go, you know, 15 minutes. Oh, I wouldn't even say 15, like 13 minutes against Charles. Uh, we saw him kill Gregor Gillespie. Um, before that, he lost to Rafael Dos Anjos and Ally Quinta. That Ally Quinta fight wasn't a bad fight for him. That was a really, really close fight. He didn't do too bad in that fight. You know, he can look back and be like, you know, it wasn't that bad. Um of a performance. I thought he I thought he won two, at least two rounds. I thought it was 48-47. I thought it was a close fight and it was a good fight. Um and before that, he he destroyed Edson Barboza and had I mean a phenomenal performance. So, really I think Kevin honestly, he has all the potential in the world to be a, you know, a really really good fighter. Um it's just can he seize that potential and uh use his skills. I've always had problems with Kevin is that he doesn't use his reach. He doesn't have a legit jab, you know. He reminds me so much of Kumar Usman, and uh, it's so crazy. He really, really does. I, obviously, I would say he probably has a better kicking game than Usman, but where Usman lacks, you know, he doesn't really need. You know you know what I'm saying? Like, Usman might lack in a certain area where Kevin is good, but Usman has the cardio, the, the mentality, and just the ability to dominate. Kevin has the ability to dominate, but he doesn't have the cardio, and... There's just, I don't know, man. There's just something about Kevin. He, he's not good. He can't, you know, he can't take pressure like that. So, D-Rod, I think D-Rod, he knows what he has to do. He has to get him tired and has to, put him pre you know, has to put pressure on him. Maybe, you know, have him shooting like a dummy and, um, you know, shoot himself into submission. So, it is what it is. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go take Kevin. Y'all know me. I like Kevin Lee a lot. So, uh, I'm probably going to take Tev Kevin. I think he can get the... You know, I think he can get the takedowns. I think he can get uh, the control. And, um, you know, hey, man, D-Rod almost got finished by Dwight Grant, you know. So, you never know. Maybe Kevin might shock us with another uh, KO. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's your boy, eBay. Fight predictions in the building. Um, yeah, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, um, on my Twitter. Uh, and, yeah, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, share, go click the notification button. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation grown. Love y'all and goodbye.